Hi everyone, welcome to IT Projects Ideas. Today we will learn how to create an audio spectrum visualizer using an Arduino and a Mac 7219 matrix display. In this project, we will show you how to build a circuit that can visualize the frequency spectrum of both periodic and speed signals in real time and display it on an LED dot matrix display. Before we dive into the project, we would like to give a shout out to our sponsor PCBWay.com. PCBWay is a leading manufacturer of high quality PCBs at an affordable price. They offer a wide range of PCB services, from PCB prototyping to PCB assembly, and have a strong reputation for providing excellent customer service. Check out their website at pcbway.com for more information. Now, let's go over the components you will need to build this project. You will need an Arduino Nano a Mac 7219 dot matrix display, a sound sensor, a potentiometer, a breadboard, and some jumper wires. Once you have all the components, you will need to connect them together as shown in the circuit diagram. Both the dot matrix display and the sound sensor are powered by the 5 volt output pin of the Arduino Nano. But you can also use an external power source for better current supply. The analog data pin of the sound sensor is connected to the A0 pin of the Arduino Nano. And the DIN, CS, and CLK pins of the dot matrix display are connected to the D11, D10, and D13 pins of the Arduino Nano. Next, you will need to download the program code from our website and install the required libraries. The program code uses two libraries, one for the FFT and the other for the Max 7219 module. The code is well documented, so you can easily understand how it works. The program code uses the FFT algorithm to compute the 64 spectral components for the real and imaginary parts of the spectrum. Once we have the 64 samples, we apply the complex to magnitude function to compute the magnitude of the spectral elements. Then we use a for loop to cover the 32 columns of the MAX 7219 model and sketch the column patterns based on the magnitude values of the spectral elements. Once you have installed the required libraries and made any necessary modifications to the program code, you can upload it to the Arduino Nano using the Arduino IDE. Now that you have built the circuit and uploaded the program code, it's time to test it out and observe the spectral components on the Mac 7219 matrix display. We will demonstrate both types of inputs in the video, so you can see how it works in action. So, what are some possible applications of this project? You could use it as a visualizer for music or speech signals, or as a tool for analyzing the frequency content of different sounds. It's a fun and educational project that can teach you a lot about signal processing and microcontroller programming. That's it for our tutorial on how to create an audio spectral visualizer using an Arduino and a Mac 7219 matrix display. We hope you found it helpful and informative. Thanks for watching.